Rakers, you know what time it is. It's showtime. Welcome to your number one rugby podcast. You know who it is? It's Juwan De Jong. Next to me is the guy with all the whistles, all the cards in the house. Eddie Blobel, yet he funny flew off me. Eddie Blobel, yet he fun flew off me. No fry, eh, me for the excreer. Excreer, ni weep ya, ni ek blay a bo. Partner, what's going on here? Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, uh, we can't start the show like this, okay? Seat belt, man. Oh. Sorry, Pada, I apologize. Uh, uh, Sorry, uh, uh, Rakes. Uh, I put on my seat belt. Hey. Hey. You can't start the show like sorry, this. Sorry, 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 Pada. Sorry. Uh, uh, it's it's I important, apologize. Zoe. Yeah, I know. There's people coming in. And look at you. I know. It's it's the excitement of the Bulls being the first team in the quarterfinals of the European Cup. Okay? You're flying high. Sorry. The, the Bulls should ah, be on the ground. I apologize, Pada. <laughs> Partner, how are you doing? I am. Just, obviously, I'm good. Yeah. I am good, uh, obviously, yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. it's been mm, a fantastic yeah, weekend. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, even the storms in Cape Town couldn't dampen my mood this yes, week. Mm. I'm excited for this episode. Yeah. Episode 39, 39, boy. 39, yes. Huh? Huh? We're moving. We're moving. Mm. One inch at a time. Hey, oh, step yeah, by yeah, step. Yeah, yeah. Right? Take it step at a time. Yeah. There's no need to. <laughs> Sorry, boy. Yeah, so good weekend, obviously, for you. Um, been a windy one for me. Is um, it? How was the weekend? Good? Um, good family, fantastic. I actually had a quiet one partner. Yeah, yeah. Um, it? I was on the couch watching all the rugby. I mm. made sure I watched everything. Rugby, chasing the sun, the whole katuti. So I filled yeah. my cup mm. with rugby this weekend. With so rugby, it was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yours? Super uh, exciting weekend as well. Obviously, it's a little bit windy. Uh. The result didn't go our way. But okay. yeah, it's a good final, especially with the family, with the friends. I had a little bit of a, a wine-flavored party as well, you know, with a good friend of mine, you know. Hola. Ula. Okay. Ula. <laughs> yes. So it's been a lucky weekend here. Yeah. So exciting times. You ready for this episode? I'm excited. Yeah. Let's get before cracking. we get cracking, okay. uh, let's talk to the very important stuff, and that's our sponsors. Hey, the people looking after us, guys, behind the rack is powered by Kruger International Asset and Wealth Management. Go check them out. The website website will be down at the bottom. Important stuff. Okay. Let them help you. Let them help your assets and and your wealth, and things will go for you. And also, our official betting partner, Lula Bet in the House. Like always, steady as a rock. Steady as a rock, eh? Lovely, yeah, boy, partner. Yeah. Mm. And then also, mm, some good stuff. Uh, we need, we, we're going to keep it fresh, so guys. Check it out. Something is going to spice it up, okay? Are you spilling the beans, uh, boy? Slowly but surely. Okay. Hey, I love my ruckus. I spilled it all. Yeah. So you know what it is. Ruckus, I know now I can't <laughs> gossip with this guy. He's going to say everything. Out, yeah, yeah. So uh, check it out, ruckus. Yeah, yeah. also my partner. So I'm excited. Like you said, episode 39 it is. Episode 39. Oh, boy, yes. yeah, I, I honestly, mm. sometimes when I sit and think about um, obviously the way that we've grown. Yeah. Um, how, the way how we've far grown. We, mm. yeah. grown. Yeah. Grown, I haven't grown an inch, <laughs> but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Good to see you in the right colors. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I spoke about the apparel now, but we'll fix all this. Okay. Yeah. But before we get there, eat this up. Get the, the touch the, in that old man. Obviously, this good? episode 39 is going to mm. be... There's going to be spice. It's going to be masala. There's going to be masala. We're going to do things a, not different, but we're going to add some stuff. And a lot of people coming in looks like... There's a, a lot of people coming in today. We're mm. going to have... Obviously, the lineup is that we're going to yeah. go through the news and the updates, what mm-hmm. happened over the weekend. Yeah, we're yeah. going to speak a bit about that. Then we're going to go straight part into our guest, our rugby guest today. Mm-hmm. It is Ansang Yero. Y- yes. Ansang Yero of Stormers Rugby currently, number five lock, Ruben van Yerden. Ooh. Yes. Huh? 26-year-old big boy coming into the studio to chat and we actually get to know him today, which is very, yeah, very exciting party. Very excited. Hopefully he doesn't have his shoulder pads when he gets into the studio. We can't take big hits anymore. No, 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 nothing. No yeah. tackling happening. Just a casual discussion yeah. with him. So that is really excited. Mm. He's playing awesome rugby yeah, yeah, and we are privileged to have him. Party. Excited, yeah. Um, then also we're going to have a bit of the results the past weekend. There was massive rugby games that happened. Mm. We're going to go into the fixtures. Do we have to do the results? We have to. Uh, we got to we okay. observe <laughs> okay. protocol, okay. partner. We're going to talk about the mm. fixtures coming out. There's some big games happening around yeah, Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about that. And Quarter then final. the mm. masala spice for this episode. Pari? Masala? Yes. We say the people that put on the lights. Um, uh, Kruger International. That puts in the plug that ah. powers us. Rakers were wondering, who is Kruger? What do they... Oh, it's Atlanta Ice. And Kruger he's... International, we are head of asset and wealth management. Yeah. And Bula. Yeah, Bula de Bria. Yes. We're going to have them, to, yeah. we're gonna have them in studio forward, mm. to talk to them about 
obviously finance. 100% they're yeah. They're involved with behind the rock who they are and what they do as a company. So that is going to be fantastic to have the people that makes behind the rock possible in the house, in our house. Okay, Pari? I'm and then as always, mm. at the end of the episode, our little bit predictions. Mm. Uh, mm. Say you say. Say you say. Make your pick. And who like us? It's not so bad. Oh, we're actually doing very well, mm. um, I like, must say. Just the Windy City there in the HL Stadium. Mm. But we'll, we'll, uh, yeah, okay, not we'll bad. get there. Yeah, but that's end. an exciting episode. Yeah, Are yeah, you ready? I'm ready for it, eh? Let's get going. Mm. Let's get cracking. Let's go to news and updates first. Uh. What do we have? What do you think do we got? I don't know. Um, there was a guy two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. First of all, Ruckus, let's start with this news. Yes, the he spicy stuff. The I spicy thought... man didn't say anything to us, partner. Mm. We had him on the show, and a couple of days after, I mean, we took him in that deja vu. He got uh, all the memories. He got so comfortable. We, he got his memories back. He thought about the good days. Okay, so t- double, okay. Thank us, <laughs> Dobbo. Thank <laughs> us for convincing. For convincing him. Okay. But yeah. guys, Stephen cuts off. Back in South Africa, that is official partner on the Stormers website. Yeah. Um, that is exciting news. How are is you it, feeling as a Stormers? Yo, I'm excited. Eh? Is it? Yo, um, obviously we know what, what happened when he wasn't around in, in, in Cape Town, but I'm super excited to have him back, man. He, he, Cape Town loves him and he loves Cape Town. Obviously he went there for a couple of seasons, but I'm excited to have him back. Huh? Was, uh, Imagine home and I like big boys. And you, can, you could actually see in the game when Alistair uh, played the Stormers, yeah. the love the that love, is there yeah. for him. Mm. So it, it it was probably for him. Uh, I, I, I'm obviously speaking on his behalf. I apologize, but it was probably a yeah. no-brainer for him to come back. Yeah. Um, which is exciting for SA Rugby, for Stormers Rugby. Yeah. Um, so if having a World Cup, double World Cup winner back, coming back yeah. for the Stormers. Looks like the rent is going up because the guys are coming back. <laughs> 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 the pound <laughs> in euros again. The down. Around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looks like it. All the boys are coming back. Yes, it's the reason and the boys, Trevor and the boys. But yeah, I'm super excited to have him back at yeah. the HL Stormers. And it's going to make a massive difference. Of course, mm. of course, of course. Any other stuff, obviously. Not a not lot of news this week, mm. partner. But obviously, when it comes to the update part of this rugby, we had episode three of Chasing the Sun. Um, Chasing the Sun. Episode three, Boyki. What I, was your take on it, firstly? Oh, oh. Um, did That's, you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Eh? Okay. Something different. Talk about masala spice. And they got a lot of masala spice. Huh? Just to see how Rassi and the boys are planning for, especially the big one. Obviously, it's about the Tonga game and the France game, playing the two pointless. And yes. um, what the episode that was, just to see the preparation, especially playing the host country. Um, there was a lot of good stuff to, to, to look out for, the way the training has been indoors, just to make sure that no one has a look. And Rassi with the speaker, walking around <laughs> like his Mr. DJ. <laughs> wiki, wiki, wiki. Uh, he cracks on with the speaker, uh, borrowing so speaker. But it's fantastic to see. Uh, you've obviously watched it as well. Anything that stood out for you? Um, just basically the dynamics in the team and how Rassi handles the big personalities and how he did the stuff. Um, I know you, when we spoke over the phone, not on air, when we spoke yeah. on the phone, how, how interesting for you the detail that goes yeah. into every decision and everything that they do at the Springboks. It's just mm. phenomenal. Um, yeah, I wish this... this, this Chasing the Sun can be for everyone, the whole world to see. Uh, not it's only five episodes, so we, so we got to take it all in. Yeah. Because when it's finished, it's finished forever. But yeah, it was a fantastic, especially a coach. Um, you know, looking how Alex Jones and, and those type of boys, Rassi Erasmus, analyzing the team, analyzing the opponents, you know, the ticks and traits and the... Uh, the guys at PlayStation in there as well. That uh, was awesome. Uh, the PlayStation uh, part. Playing rugby. I didn't know you could actually have a game where you can Move control the guys around. your player and that's... A, you that remember? is next level. Next level. So we got to get the budget at where I coach <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> but to see, places in two, remember Jonah Loma? Oh, yeah. it, it looks like that. Um, fantastic. You see the planning around it. Just the planning as well, with inside the game as well, how they move money around, making sure they get the wide breakdown, kicking across to the loose forwards and, and to see coming it off with Damien, the Alendi scoring that try, that, that's genius stuff. And, and, then, and then obviously, yeah, you know what's up. Yeah, come. 22, two, scrum, and then it actually works out as well. The fact that we got the penalty yes, from the scrum, time, first that time Gaza. Ever. and then couple after the World Cup, and uh, the unions tried it. Uh, penalty uh, against them. <laughs> <laughs> because monkey see, monkey too. Sometimes you gotta plan it. I actually, that it's not part of chasing the sun, but do you think yeah. a lot of coaches and people are, will be stealing what Russia is? It, okay. Yeah, I'm also like. 
putting a 50% in. I <laughs> never mind. Because <laughs> you never know. Just the, for, for me, it's about the detail. And, and, and I mean, you've got to put the hours in as a coach to make sure you get the detail. Because if the players goes on an off day, it's important for you to analyze and make sure that the small little detail, especially just the cross kick, believing the loose forwards in a wide channel to, for Damien to score. And the fact that, they the, knew, that he knew um, DuPont was the last defender yeah. there. That's why they kicked the cross and kick. And he's short. Like all the nines, short. <laughs> but yeah, the technical detail was incredible for me. And the way France get out of the blocks. Ooh, uh, that first 10 minutes is doof tough, dearly. That big forward. Uh, no, it's, it's absolutely mm. brilliant. It's like an episode to watch, yeah. Uh, the week takes so long for the next episode. That's but, how the ruckus feel about behind the ruck. Yeah. Now I know. You know? Now I know how our ruckus feel about behind the ruck. A week is too long. Mm? Seven days is quite Seven a days. long time. Mm. Two yeah, there's two ladies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that was awesome. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, exciting. Um, exciting. exciting. And mm. then Paddy, obviously, are we gonna go straight into our guest? Yeah. Uh, let's get the big man. Let's, let's uh, his body's Mouth probably still in. sore. Yeah. His bo- body's still sore, but we are happy to have him. Yeah, Will Skelton and the boys, 145 KGs. Oh. But that it's it's awesome. He's in incredible form. I mean, he had a journey. So young, you said now he's about 26 years, six old, years but old. He's been to the Sharks, to the Bulls, to overseas as well. And he made his debut when he played with us at the Bulls at the time as a 19 year old. Yeah. Um, so it feels to me like he's been in the game forever. That's why yeah, when I see yeah, yeah, yeah. 26 years old, I'm like, wow, mm. unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to him. Let's get I going. Get there. I want to get there. Okay. okay. Up next, Ruben, Ruben van Jarden. Let's go. <laughs> partner, partner, partner. Oh, Ruby, 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 Ruby. Hey. 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 Ruby, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to Behind the Rock, boy. So, so, How are yes, you doing? Welcome, hey. Bye, Donkey. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so super excited to have you. Huh? Is the body are you feeling fresh? Yeah, excited to be here as well. I'm a big fan of the podcast. Ah, body, oh. the life is a big year. Yeah, mm. great, great man. I'm going to go to La Rochelle. I'm going to go to La Rochelle. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Let's start the partner. Yeah, yeah, let's, start let's start there. right mm. there. Um, Rubs. Past weekend, first of all, sorry, it's unlucky result. Mm. I mean, one point, um, South Africans now, we're also on the other side we of like the, this, yeah, this one, the point one point thing. Yeah. Mm. Firstly, how was the game, Boyki? Yo, you know what? It was uh, marginal, mm. think I think. Yeah. Um, I thought we, once at the block had come, we, we played well. You know, we played some of our best rugby yeah. the whole season. Um, 16 nil up, you know, thinking, okay, no, it's going yeah. well. Half time, you know, we're going in there, everyone's calm. We're, we're saying, okay, listen, you know, the plan's working. Just stick to the plan. Mm. You know, I remember saying half time to the boys, listen, you know, it's not over. You know, it's not over. We have to we have to keep fighting. We haven't achieved anything yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. And then I remember Dobbo actually said, listen, guys, you know, the only way we bring them into the game is if we concede penalties and we're ill-disciplined. Yes. And that's actually what we, it's, that's yeah. exactly what happened. We conceded a few penalties. We're ill-disciplined. We let them back into the game. Obviously, back-to-back champions, they're a quality team. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we all know how it ended. Mm, it was a proper test match, eh? Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, physical, I mean, up front and even with the backs as well. The wind made it tough for you guys. Uh, that was my next question. Uh, part, yeah. I wanted to ask specifically uh, in the line uh, what, was that, yeah, the... what was that wind like? Yeah, it was crazy. I've never played in wind like that. Mm. Um, you know, like we had, we had a we had a plan to be brave in the lineouts mm. as well, because obviously, you know, I think they've got they've got a big pack of forwards. They put Uni Antonio there in the front. They've yeah. got Will Skelton yeah. there in the front, and they're very smart. They, you know, La Rochelle use they use their players well. Mm. So now Will Skelton off for the man can't spring yeah. in the line standing. He doesn't yeah. even have lineouts strapping on. Is so, it? Yeah, he doesn't have lineouts strapping on. It's the physicality. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, they give you the front ball, but mm. they they're gonna stop your mall. That's that's a, okay. that's the oh, yeah. that's a given. Will Skelton, Uni Antonio, what they do is they 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 just spin you around. The whole mall, they just spin you around. And then you, you, you're going nowhere. Mm. So we had this plan of, of uh, you know, if we five meters out to be brave, to, to try and get back ball, yeah. you know, and, and be brave. We get that ball, we, we win it in a good zone, we can mm. maul. But the wind just made it, made it almost tough, eh? impossible. Yeah, yeah, almost impossible. I saw Obviously, some... I've never played at the stadium part. Mm. Now, does it swirl inside? Because I couldn't pick up watching the game from the telly roops. Yeah, it swirls. Yeah. Which way is it going? Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah, you've yet English key page. You, you, you don't even it know where. Changes every ten yeah, minutes, yeah. twenty minutes. Yeah. Want to say? I must also. You must. You must. Da we ons in gerei juba. All the those who spill it. Da so an muli points a kant. And so an ane kant ook. So it gets in there. It gets in there and it swirls. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, in like La Rochelle, big boys, big forwards, eh? And talking about Will Skelton. Yes. 
looking at the team sheet, you've seen this guy, 145 kgs, yeah. and you've yeah. got Diaz as well. But, uh, the mindset leading up to this game, you got the two-time back-to-back champions coming to yeah. um, the HL Stadium. Yeah. Um, what was the mindset like? Is it a, it's the must win, or was it just like... Yeah, I think the, it was it was different to any URC game. Mm. Of course, I think we all knew, um, you know, it's going to be like a test match. That's mm. that's the way we, you know, we built it up during the week. Dobbo used a, he used a like an analogy or like a joke. A I even was even yeah. say like a theme. So Dobbo, yeah. and even say also the story <laughs> in a, in a yes, yes, history I lesson. Mm. Niet wat hem so yeah. inwerk, nee. <laughs> But I bite for us. I begin so I play music from that band of Monsters and Men. Oh yeah, yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. And I, I, it ties it into you know, large shells and three monsters. But also the man, you understand? Yeah, yeah. You know, I say, yeah, I wear the monsters. We're almost always in the movies. Yeah. You know, I probably must so. And but yeah, you know, that was more support for us. Great ones. And it was definitely the greatest ones that we ever got. Yeah, yeah. You understand? I think one time I think. For Uni and Tony weer tackle nemen, maar ik kom van die lijn af zoals ik kan. Dus niet ek, niemand langs mij. Ik heb maar ik het verhuurschel die langs mij. Yeah. Maar verhuurschel gaan niet aan klimmen zo. Ja. En ik uh, zet mijn scouwer in, maar yes, dat was op vlug het. Maar jullie scouwer gaan yeah. zo terug. Die weer het stuk vlees, mannen. En hij nog een vier, die vier slot wat toch pop om latch ook nog zo. Ja. We staf, maar dat was dat was een great experience. Ja, ja. En dan de feeling, yeah. obviously. Um, it, what was the the chat and the feeling after the game, mm. Roof? Especially yeah. being. So close, um, yeah. and it's not the end of the season. So I just wanted to know what's the feeling after the game, and what is the next thing? Are you guys obviously it's URC mm. the plans yeah. the next the a week next off? Thing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was there's more mixed emotions not tight, man. Um, you know, I think Dobbo Dobbo actually summed it up well. He said, "Listen, you know, um, to be to be quite honest, we actually gave it away." Mm. Once actually the game. Uh, weggegeven op een blik. Dat was, dat was margins wat, wat ons eigenlijk weggegeven. Um, je weet, een game wat ons definitief ba- je weet, kon winnen, wat ons niet gewinnen het. Je kon enige kant toe gaan, maar hij was, hij had gezegd, hij was baie trots op ons karakter yeah, geweest. Yeah, how we fought, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, how we fought in the game. He was proud of that, you know. And it was good seeing the fans afterwards also just mm. saying, listen guys, you've played some good rugby. You didn't play against the Paluka side, you played against the, you know, the yeah, best of the mm-hmm. best. And um, I think everyone was disappointed, you know, because we know we, we, we could have just won it anyways. Um, but there was that overwhelming feeling, I think, inside the change room of, listen, you know, there's a lot to be proud of. We played some good yeah, rugby. Yeah, yeah. And if we can, number one, beat the, the, the back-to-back European champions and then mm. play them a second time and almost beat them a second time, then we are confident that we can beat anyone in the URC. And that's what we said oh, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what we said. We, we said, listen, you know, um, you know, we might have lost this game, but we just won the URC. Mm. That's what we, that was like almost the mindset of we we yeah. we, we winning oh. the URC today. Let's go for it. Yeah, sorry. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Well, well, still a long season, but we'll get there, June. We'll get there, June. But you, you pay for it, man. Geloof me. I like it. I like it. You see it. You need to believe it. Yeah, and you had to believe it. We're going to believe it. Hundred percent, yeah, hundred yeah, percent, yeah. And also looking at the storm, as you got a lot of injuries, especially oh. last weekend. Yes, yes. So, hey. the man of all the flair. Yeah, Achiva yeah. and, and uh, especially crucial guys like Dion Furi. Yeah, uh, is out. Yeah, Olin Zas, Mooney as well. Olin Zas, Moon, Achiva, BJ Dixon. Yeah. Yeah. So um, looking at this week, a bit of an off week. Is yeah. Blessing in disguise, is it? Man? Yeah, uh, yes, it's one of those things. I think so. Yeah, like, I mean, come on, let's say we, we beat La Rochelle, yeah. we had to go to Dublin. You know, I don't know which it's team that. we would have gone with because we had a few guys injured, out, yeah. And you know, a few of the re- rehab guys still have a week or two left. So I don't know what's the span on so we're going to do. But yeah, uh, we're definitely welcoming the off week. Yeah. Exciting times. Yeah. And let's, let's go to his career. Yeah, this yeah, guy no. is playing week in and week out. 80 minutes, I clock you once. Let's talk about your career. How's the season been for you? You know, playing 18 minutes. I don't know. I think you've only missed like one game throughout the whole season. Yeah. You're playing 18 yes. minutes week in and week out. And then you play four and then you play five. The responsibilities. How's the season been for you? How are you taking on that responsibility? Yeah, good. I mean, I've, I've been loving playing as much rugby. Yeah. Um, I'm honestly the guy yeah. I hate going off the field. Yeah. I got it. I hate being subbed. Honestly, uh, you, I hate being. You want that, uh, I hate being uh, subbed. Yeah, I love. I love the last 15, 15 or ten minutes of the mm. game where you have to really dig deep. Yes, much. You know, you're going to that dark places. I love that. Um, but yeah, the, the season's been good. Obviously, I think uh, you know we, we we keep speaking about how how bad our tour was yeah. at the start of the URC, um, and now it's almost just like. We're driving on, on dirt roads now, trying mm. to to make up those points that we we, we yeah. missed there. 
But um, we, we're confident and, and we're positive about where we can still end up in the URC and, and how mm. things can play out. I mean, kijk van Munster last year. I can yeah. Bieke, the way quarters, way semis, the way semis, and the final. Yeah. Anything can happen, eh? So. Yeah. And then Roops, obviously, um, you, you moved to the Stormers. Uh, yeah. Did you ever think um, uh, Albert Ton Pretoria mm. boy is going to play for the... Huh? Uh, you're going to play for the mm. end up at the Stormers? Nooit nie, Pudgy. Is it? No. Nooit nie. Weet, Weet jy wat, wat awesome. ek gaan vir jou nou een ding vertel. <laughs> ja, ja. Ek het, daar was nie een span wat ek meer gehad het. Ay, 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 ay. Hold on. Hold on. Because I don't want to say it's uh, mutual, but uh, let's continue. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, so I, I never, I never envisioned myself playing for the Stormers. Mm. You know, I never thought it, it, it'll be possible. And I had no good reason for not liking the Stormers, but I always said, no, I'll never play for the Stormers. You know, I don't like the Stormers, do this and that. Um, and then, uh, ironically, you know, that's that's just how, how things worked out. Yeah. I remember actually, Juba, on my 16th birthday, yeah. like, word 16 years old, uh-huh. I was a big Shark supporter. My parents, for my birthday, they said, listen, we're going to go to Durban, we're flying to Durban, sleep in the hotel, we're going to go watch the Curry Cup final. We're sitting uh, after the parliament. Uh, yeah. And Jubisco. And I scream. I scream for my boys. I scream for my youth. I scream for, for my Natal uh, man. My Sharks boy kiss. No. Next moment, Juba, tut, tut, tut. Uh, here, under the parliament. Breaking a 16 year old style. Gangnam style. I think, yes. I don't know. You're yeah, terrible. When you're for us, that's so. On my 16th of year. Uh, breaking 16 year old. Breaking 16 year old. Come on, Juba. You should have told yeah. me. That's a long time ago. But you know what, at that, at that stage, I never thought I'd play for the Stormers. But you know, honestly, now I can tell you, there's no team that I enjoy playing for more. And I really love the Stormers more than anything. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's taking the words out of my mouth. I actually wanted to ask you, what mm. is the experience like? Um, everybody that comes to the Stormers speaks so highly about the environment. Yeah. And so yeah. highly about how they are happy at the Stormers and yeah. that they're playing their best rugby yeah. partner. Mm. What what makes you guys so happy, Rups? Especially even though you've played at different few different places, why are you so happy? And why are so many guys so happy at the Stormers? Yeah, I mean, I think you guys know. Obviously, uh, you know, in the rugby in the rugby environments, you get those cliche terms that gets thrown around like culture and this and that. But as Radar said, Paige, I think the Stormers is a good culture, and I think that really comes down to the the group of coaches. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, everyone involved. Um, you know, I think the and the boys, the boys really, uh, I think, buy into. Yeah. To what's going on at the Stormers and what Dobbo and, and Rito and mm. even Ali Mana prepared uh, about also, you know, we're really building a team. I think most guys are signed on for four years, so we're really trying to build a team. And uh, you know, I think it's been going well, obviously, the last two years. Yeah. But I think the best is yet to come for this team as well. Um, so uh, yeah, it's, it's a good environment. You know, you you you're allowed to be yourself. You know, you heard in the environment. Um, obviously, I think. There's a good bunch of guys as well. Mm. Lekker groep ouders, yeah, Juba. Je weet moest nou. Je weet moest nou. Lekker klomp ouders, man. All the memories, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, it's, and also when it comes to the Stormers, obviously, um, when you talk about your role as well, playing four and five, mm. and now you've yeah. got the responsibility of making the calls. Mm. And you've got Klaasje, Hoekes, uh, in the squad, Zahid, uh, Zahid, Hugo Venter, um, Joseph Dweb, and all these guys. Mm. And with, even with uh, Marvin Ori last year, taking that responsibility, knowing you've got big shoes to fill, um, how did you see it going? Um, how did you see taking that responsibility, leading the team forward, leading especially in that department when it comes to the lineups? Because the lineups obviously one of your strengths um, yeah. with the good work of you said now, Coach Rito. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, I think it happened actually rather quickly. Um, you get, uh, <laughs> I, can even, I didn't expect, you know, to to start playing five and calling the lineups as quickly yeah. as I did, I think, yeah. um, at the Stormers. But it was an opportunity that I grabbed with both mm-hmm. hands. It's something I take really seriously. And, you know, I put a lot of work in and homework in, um, you know, in the line outs and so on. Mm-hmm. And it's, I love it. Honestly, I, I love, I love the role. You know, for me, it's, mm-hmm. it's fun going home and looking at the opposition line outs and, you know, coming up with a plan and, and speaking to Rito and working together with him. And, mm-hmm. you know, I've just learned so much already in, in a short space of time as well. And it's, it's honestly, it's a, posi- a position that I love, a responsibility that I love. And you know, it's over like 18, man. Yeah. I love you, line star. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, we're great. And Rups, on the on the four and five, you've always played four. Am I correct when I say that? Majority of of my of my career, I've played four. Okay. But I've always always known that I can play five. I've always wanted to play okay. five. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I played, four is the, is the guy hurting people. Five yeah. is the smart guy. What's five. It? That's how I understand yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> the backline players don't really. Get I don't know four. who goes where by the more, but I know yeah. that it was smart and. 
<laughs> yeah, so I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of just kind of worked out that way that I played most mm. of my rugby at four. Uh, five is the guy obviously that's that's calling the lineouts. He's got the resp- responsibility, you know. I I work by Nabe with Marnie. You know, we meet up. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. meet up yeah, every Friday. Making, yeah, we we, we what, meet what up with plans. Mm. Yeah, we meet up before every game. We speak about the plan, the play sheet. Uh, what are the calls we're going in with? You know, what's the mindset, the game plan? So I have to work very closely with Marnie. I have to work closely mm. with the tech coach. Yeah, I have to mm. work closely with the forwards coach, the nines, the hookers. Make sure all the forwards are on the same page. You know what we're trying to do. Um, so it's it's a responsibility that I'm enjoying. I played five at, ju- at the Junior World Cup. So mm. Man was not yeah, yeah. uh, ironically my my uh, slot mod. Wow, life so. works out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. So, so now he's my he's my lock my lock teammate at, at the Stormers as well. Now, but uh, we were locks lock teammates there. I played five there, um, and then after that, I, I don't know what happened. I think you know when I went to the Sharks as well, there was always an abundance of five locks, mm. and then I was just always pushed to. Hey, can spill fear, you know? Yeah. Go play four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And nice, yeah I, th- I think, you know, I always used to ask, you know, speak to coach Sean Everett and all these coaches, different coaches that I had over the years and said, listen, I see my future at five. Mm-hmm. I believe that I can become a Springbok number yes. five. That's what I believe. Uh, and uh, they were always just like, yeah, 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 but never got the opportunity. And I think that's also why I respect Dobbo and Rito as much as I do, mm-hmm. because they were the first coaches who I said listen I want to do this and they said listen okay, okay we back it. you mm. yeah okay I they could see it in my eyes that's all you want that's the thing player. just a coach yes. with your back now but you yeah. say, oh, when I said listen I know I can become a springboard coach they saw in my eyes that I meant it yeah and they're like okay we back you and that was that is and because you get that type of backing pagey you don't want to let them I was, down. and that's yeah. my next one so yeah. because of that backing can you feel that the responsibility is making you a better player yes okay 100% because I don't want to let people down. Yeah. For start, and I said, "Boy, loyal." I was like, "Wait, you back me, I'm back at Kyoto the two. So you you put everything on the line week in week out for double on them now. Hundred yeah. percent. I get it. Hundred yeah. percent. You know what I mean? I mm. like it. That's the thing. Yeah, and then we're looking to June. So June is when the the nitty gritty of things happen, especially with the playoffs. Yeah. The season now for you guys, obviously you're playing two tough games. Um, you got Scarlets and then Leinster coming. Then you go have to go away to Dragons, Connacht, Dragons, Connacht, and, and, and Lions. Lions at home. Those five games crucial. Yeah. Okay, top eight is pretty much sound, but you kind of want a home semi, a home final. And for you guys, the plan, especially for you, uh, looking forward to that one, that couple of games? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I think definitely if you are, the, the, the games we have going forward is crucial games for us. We have to win all five of them. Yeah. You know, and I think if, if we if we win all five of our games and there's a few other games that or results that go our way, we can still finish second mm. in, in the URC. Um, but... Uh, yeah, no, I think even even the teams we're playing are almost like banana peel type of teams. You know, yeah. you, you if you underestimate these teams, the, the, the Lions, the Connachs, mm. they will punish you. Difficult mm. teams. This Milik is punning yeah, this yeah. Phil, You know what I mean? Mm. You know, because that's the thing. You have to be on top of it mm. when you play some of these teams. Honestly, yeah. if you take a Connacht or a Lions lightly, they will that's, punish you definitely. That's dangerous. That's that's dangerous. A Leinster, yeah. obviously, on Saturday, what's the span like on Saturday? Yeah, they always say the beat team, but this year. But regardless, I think yo, we'll we have we'll be up for that game, yeah. anyways. Mm. Yeah. And Ruby, um, Springbok ambitions. Mm. As da, that's always there. You, you, yeah. you play in, if you play in South Africa. Ek maak net seker vaak. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so huh? definite Springbok yeah. ambitions, die droom is nog levendag. 100%. And, and you're still working towards the high honors. 100%, okay. yeah. Now, I signed a, a longer term contract to the Stormers and then that's definitely one of my one of my goals. Is, yeah, 2027. Yes, you yeah. um, Hopefully. That's yeah. that's where I'm going for. I'm trying to push hard for that. And, and luckily, the, the locks um, and, and the front rowers, these boys can play partner until 40 years old, 38 <laughs> uh. years old. You understand? Don't look at us. Don't look at us. <laughs> oh, yeah. The cars go for services <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> These boys yeah. can go on forever. So yeah. another 10, 12 more years, Ruba? How do you feel? I hope so. I'm 26 now. So if I can play another yes. 10 Ruby, years. 26? Yeah. Oh my goodness. 26. Um, th- yeah, 26. He's seen the if, world. He's exactly. been around the world. Yes. Yeah, if, if, uh, if I can play another 10 more years until 36, I'll be a really blessed man, I think. Mm. Yeah. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Huh? So but I say, look at Brocky. I mean, look at Brocky in Dion, in Brana. Yeah, man, he's fast back there. Yeah, man, he's fast. 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 He's fast.
My, lo- my gunsling speler is a light, yeah, eh? Is it? For the bone collector. Bone collector, yeah. Yes, hi, man. Is it? Ja, yeah, my man Joel nog, yeah, he weet, hy het daar nou, na die, na die, yeah. dat was nog nooit een, oh, dat was nog nooit iemand wat ek vir my het bevel, nie. Mm. Net Willem Albert. Yeah. Ok. As ek hom yeah, voor my gesien het, het ek net so'n bykie, on, on, on the out gehaard klop. Uh. Jy weet, die bone collector, hy is toch my hero geweest. Ok, so, ja, ja, ja. ja. And, and while we talk about your heroes and stuff, mm. um, die storm is mens, so let's, let's take, where did Ruby grow up? Where is Ruben from? How big is your family, yeah. your parents? Share a little bit about yeah. your, your story, man. Please, oh, champion. Um, yeah, born and raised in the south of Johannesburg. You had it called Alberton. I mm. was the youngest, the youngest of three. I've got an older sister and an older brother. Um, yeah, my mom does events. She's an events coordinator. My pa is a pastor. Yeah, past, I'm a pastor's child. Uh. Jy ook, nie? Yes! Huh? Is jy PK? Yes! Ja, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ja, so streng groot geword, maar jy was yep. goed geweest. Kent jy kent het. Yep, ja, ja, that's tough. Hulle sê dat... Ok, is dat ek ook... Wat jy sê, hulle is die stoutste <laughs> kinders, ja. No, no, no. Ek het nie gesê nie. Ok. Maar, ja, yeah, so that's the, obviously, and um, went, went to Afis in Pretoria. Yeah. That's where I went oh, yeah. to high school. Mm. Was in the hostel there. And on, as you do when you're in Afis, you just, after school, you just go across the street, Paige. Yep. And that's why I for Paige on it. As a wet behind the ears, 18, 19 year old light, you're all come. Kindest guy in the world. That's yeah. yeah. right, 100%. <laughs> Great <laughs> senior. <laughs> One of my favorite seniors, Buddy Bella. You know, all the other ones look at you and you think, you know, you see your man here, so next yeah. time, next time, you're light here, so, but mm. yeah, Paige was, he was there always a good lekker ouders, Paige, with the young ouders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He was there always a good ouders, with the young, younger ouders, you know. Yeah. With yeah. young ouders. <laughs> so, Ruby, <laughs> Afis, high school, played first team, played Cayman Week, mm. or Bulls? Yes. Okay. Yes. Afis, eh? Mm. Afrikaans, yeah. word school. Word school. Science. Word science school, yeah. Science school. Yes, yeah. Afrikaans. Yeah, Afrikaans. Yeah. Afrikaans. and then also, yeah. we said now, you've been around the world at such a young age, going to Afis, Afrikaans. Then you went to, to uh, England as well, playing at Exeter for, mm. for a stink. How was that journey? Um, Yo, that is, that's quite a story, Ajuba. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was at the Sharks for, for a couple of years, and then uh, the opportunity came. Um, I had a year left in my Sharks contract. Yeah. And the opportunity came to to join Exeter, um, and you know at that stage you weet jij denk je denk er een mooi dier, maar je denk om niet raar te dieren. Je weet, I thought I did my homework. I didn't really do my homework as as good as I probably would do now. Um, but anyway, I went over to Exeter. Um, actually, had some really good experiences there as mm. well, but it didn't really turn out to be um, everything I hoped for. You know, it was actually yo juba ons ons kan nou. Ons kan dit nou baie diep vat, nee. Yeah. We can go deep now. Oh, yeah. Deep chats. A lekker chapter. Maar, um, ja, honestly, I went over there and um, I think, yo, I really, I lost my passion for rugby. Mm. I lost my passion for rugby big time. Um, I didn't, I always used to be the guy, I would go for extra extra sessions. Uh, Axel, extra huddle kijk, video clips yeah. kijk van die opposition. Axel, the extra mail gaan, always very motivated and everything. When I went there, um, you know, I think I, I think I had this overwhelming feeling of I did, made the wrong mis- wrong decision to go to Exeter. Mm-hmm. I started spring, spring, Springbok ambitions. Why did I go over at such a young age? You know, I think uh, Exeter was also just the wrong fit for me personally mm-hmm. as a person and so on. And everything, I think when I went over there, everything just felt like an uphill battle. Uh, so honestly speaking, um, I lost my passion for rugby big time there. Mm-hmm. And I, I even considered stopping playing you know, and coming home and whatever. All together. All because together, yeah, like oh, was, wow. yeah, I went through a tough time. I was honestly depressed. Um, and then, you know, I went to Rob Baxter, which is the director of rugby mm. at Exeter. And uh, I remember just sharing with him saying, listen, you know, you guys obviously um, expect a certain amount from me and I can't give that to you because I'm actually really unhappy. Mm. So I can't feel like what you have expected from me because I'm actually really unhappy. Seals unhappy. Yeah. And uh, you know, a happy player is a good player. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you, you you've feel been, in, in, yeah, in exactly. You feel like a purpose. Mm. You feel like there's there's meaning and something. So, um, and I, I lost that all together. I was actually quite depressed. And I just said to him, listen, um, wouldn't they look at, you know, releasing me and so on. And they obviously said, they said listen, you know, it's it's tough. We, we invested a lot of, 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 you know, a lot in you. Yeah. You know, we, we liked what we saw in you at the Sharks. Yeah. And they paid the Sharks a bit of a transfer fee to get me out of yeah. my last year and everything. So they said, yeah, sure. We, you know, I think there's a lot of French teams that'll that'll pick you up, and maybe we can negotiate a transfer fee or something. Um, 
But I said to them, listen, you know, I'm not interested in, in France. I want to go back home. Back home yeah, I want to go back to my people. Like, where yeah, I used to come. Zone, yeah. And I said to them, listen, you know, there's no team in South Africa that's be able to pay you guys a transfer fee. We don't have the money. 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 We won't be able to. So I said to them, listen, you know, can you let the money to come? And uh, he heard me out and he said, okay, listen, uh, I'll see what I can do. And then two weeks later, he said, listen, Ruben, that's fine. We'll, you can start looking for opportunities in South Africa. And that's that's how good the timing is. That is a good, that's how good yeah, God was for me. Yeah. Comes to then at that stage, there was a couple of injuries at the Stormers. And, um, and that's mid-season. Mid-season, yeah. there was a couple of injuries. There was like a lock crisis at the Stormers. A team that I said I'll never play for. Yeah, and sure. then, uh, I was, but I was, de- I was desperate. And uh, I said, yeah, the Stormers said they'll take me on loan. Uh, they they got I, I came out, joined the Stormers mid season in the URC, started playing for them, loved it, ended up going to the URC final, signing wow. a longer term contract in Los Angeles, Dubai. Yeah. I, I got the passion back. Uh, then I got the passion back for rugby. Now I'm actually I'm I'm enjoying my rugby the most I've ever enjoyed it. Mm. You know, Gee, life, life is weird now. Yeah, huh? yeah, life is weird. As soon as you think ah, it's the end, and then there's something there's bigger something and better yeah. coming, mm, coming exactly. your way. And sometimes people looking from the outside, so like I'm playing with the Wasps at the time, looking at you at Exeter, and Exeter was like, they're playing semi-finals, they're playing yeah. finals, and the club is on, and I actually expecting, ah, everyone must be happy, and everyone, yeah. things yes. must be smooth. But l- listening to the story, obviously the way things just move, uh, you know, works out at the end of the day. If you just keep yeah. your, your focus alive and, you know, working towards one purpose, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And you and find a pers- purpose actually. At the and, and that's the thing, you know, that, that, like I said, that passion for rugby mm. came back. You know, the dream of playing for the Springboks was reignited. I could I dream because like, that dream kind of got lost on yeah. me a little bit and then the passion came back, the dream came back, the meaning, the purpose, everything came back and I think that's that's why I'm in a good space mm. now. And now wake, awesome waking up is easy again. Waking no, up is going it, to like HBC a, is, is like an over. Yeah. Okay. That's, that, like that's a, awesome to you, man. Yeah. We that's, underestimate what we have in South Africa. Mm. You know, we think the grass is greener yeah. over, overseas and it's it's really, it's a stuff I can't Yeah. Like. Everything's got the positives. Yeah. And there's a lot of yeah. boys coming back now, eh? Yeah. Mm. yeah. There's a lot of players coming back to coming SA. Back home, coming back home, which is awesome. Yeah. I actually love it to see our boys coming back. So, yeah, which means see. our teams will become even stronger. Yes. Yes. And then we can go back to back. And Ruby, very important. Family. Yes. Married? Yes. Okay. Yes. Huh? Married. Married. Just over a year now. Yeah. Okay. Happy in Cape Town. Happy yeah. at the Stormers. Hey. No hey. small ones yet? No, no, no. No, no. no. Okay. Yeah, once we, we're putting that off for, for a couple of years. Yeah. But okay. we, we, yeah, we can plan as, as far as we want, but uh, this is this is yet a sign at I, Paige. Yeah. We don't know, eh? Okay. Yeah, take our advice. Mine is one and a half, and it's your teacher. Hey, hey, what the hey? Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta make sure. I can't even take some din. Sit down. Me, me, try. I, I can't even not not imagine what what can I say also. No, a Wednesday sessie. Je weet mo's hoe ze riet ook met die bands en die yeah. malls en die scrums. Na no, dinsdag sessie kom jy huis toe en jy leep op die bed en jy slaap. Ja. Yeah. Lekker. Hoe waar kry hierdie manne die energie yeah. om huis te kom en dan sê, hey papa, speeltijd. Ja, yeah. quality yeah. time. Quality time. Yeah. 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 That's important. Yeah. But yeah, before we finish, hey Roops, um, yes. Yes, see. obviously your love for Stormus is there, no married guy, all this love type of things. Love for the bulls. Yes, but we need to know, uh, 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 hey, uh, 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 hey, careful, 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 that's throwback Thursdays, mate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna play a little game, mate. This one is a bit different. Ooh, hey, like it's it, your part. team. Teammate, hey, yes. it's time to put uh, him on the clock. Come put him on the clock. Guess hey. your teammate. Guess your teammate. Guess your teammate. So what's going like to happen it. is, can Go. you have a clock here, Paige? I need a clock, hey, and uh, just give me a clock. So we'll check it quickly for you. Hold on. Uh, we'll, give Hold you, on. we'll give you a cup and a... Uh, um, so all you have to do is, we'll explain the guy, okay? Yeah. And you got to uh, think or say who you think it might be. Okay. okay. So, okay, so starting with... Example. Uh, uh, he's short and he's on behind the rack. Rudy Pate. Rudy Pate. Something like that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And it was very sweet, that guy. <laughs> okay, let's start with the first one. Okay, he comes from Boise, eh? okay? Weighing at 110, okay? He's got five Springbok caps. Okay, five Springbok caps in the past couple of seasons. Mm. Uh, uh, he so plays loose forward. Jevan Roos. Jevan Roos. How's that? Uh, maybe this is going to be too easy <laughs> for the big players. Okay. <laughs> okay, next one. Let's, one. let's see if we can get the next one. Okay, this yeah. guy loves cars. Okay, he loves cars. Okay. He plays in the wide channel. Okay, mm. he plays in the wide channel. He grew up in Hermanus. Um, Leland Zas. Hey, okay. I'm going to have a bit of a moeilijk. Moeilijk, Mark Boyke. Come on. I can't believe it. Two out of two. I'm going to have a bit challenge. I'm going to have a bit challenge. Yes. Okay, this one, he loves to tackle, okay? Okay. This one loves to tackle, he's about, I think, 26 years old, might be 27. Um, 
He went to office. Um, uh, okay. He, Recently he, married. He, Ruben van Jerden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smart. Three out of three. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, he's fast. Um, Love Sketch, um, Catching Fish, also went to Boys Eye. Yes, mm. he's for uh, Paul De Wet. Paul De Wet. Is it Paul? It yeah. is Paul, yeah. That's, yeah. That's uh, okay. Wow, yeah. four, four. Man, uh, four. Yeah, that's that's like, he's on song, eh? And, uh, make, it I think make it tough, the last I can't make it tough. You okay. have to. Okay. The, la- the last yeah. one is the main guy of Abachi. Abachi shoes. Abachi. Don't want anyone else, then I'll get him. Abachi. Abachi shoes. Uh, Achim, the color is there. Achim, the ah, money. It's too easy. Uh, yeah. The money. Die money. It's die money. Stay yeah. cool. Uh-huh. And at the time clock says yes, uh, one p- minute coming in. 27 seconds. Okay, next time I'll spend more time on this. Okay, okay. smashed it. <laughs> Ruben, yes, so yep. what an episode it was. What a story we Thank have. You. Thank you very much for coming out to Behind the Rack. I must Thank say, um, for the past couple of seasons, I've played with you a couple of, we've trained with you. Mm-hmm. The last season you've done, it's incredible. The way you've taken charts of the lineups, the way you're taking charts of the senior players, the, you know, leadership. Mm-hmm. Um, it's incredible. You know, you're ranking top, top uh, tackle uh, yeah. ranks in the URC. Mm-hmm. Incredible season for you f- so far. So from our side, just all the best. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, keep being, you know, the man that you are, especially when you're going to start a family as well, you know, setting the example <laughs> on and off the field. Yeah. So... That's, that's fantastic to have you on the show and we'll get him on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And, and Ruby, I you. love the chicken wing this weekend. That, oh, I yeah. didn't want to talk about it too much, but I love the chicken wing. Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. love it. They say you must push the piano. He's got that and he's going to play the piano. Yeah. At the and there's another thing I actually got from the interview. I didn't know he's 26. I thought you, you're way older. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, when you joined us um, back in the day, the bull, so mm. he got Most a long yeah. career, buddy. Honestly. Um, yeah. Long career well, and I, I hope that the Soon love stays in the game, yeah. That the green and gold, the dream will be a reality for you. Yeah, that, hope so. Don't yeah. keep crazy. Mm. If you're going on the way you're currently playing, I, I, I know it will come soon because you're yeah, absolutely on fire. An unsung hero of the Stormers yes. and Greenpoint. Definitely, mm. manier. Waardeer it. Mm. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Perfect. And, hey. la- and last mm. thing, partner, I know you want... Alberton must be rackers, okay? So they mu- you must share this okay. and Alberton. Okay, okay. 100%. Sit well, Sorry, partner. And that's the rumor for you, Partner. Mm. Yeah. The last like a man. Yo, what a journey. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, wow. And um, yeah, obviously it's been a tough game uh, against a lot of shell boy keys, but hopefully uh, they got a week off now to get into the next couple of games. But he's playing fantastic rugby, man. His stats, it's unbelievable. And and the thing, obviously, partner, um, I know we've been nagging about mm. it and nagging. Just to hear someone else again say it, when you back and people back you and believe in you. Yeah. And, and that shows in the way that he plays his rugby yeah. currently. 18 minutes week in, week, week, in out, week out. Yeah. Making top amount of tackles per game almost every game. Stuff people don't see and appreciate. Sometimes that's all about the winger scoring and the try. But exactly. those type of things, especially for coaches, is very important. And the best part about that interview is, hey, he's a rocker, he's partner. A rocker. He's a rocker. Yes, man, he's a rocker and that's important. <laughs> and I mean, it's got the, the journey of him as well. I mean, yeah. To lose the love for the game, that is, and to get the that game. Back. Yeah, coming to Cape Town to get that back in. It's incredible. So um, from our side, Ruben, all the best for the season ahead. Thank you very much for making the time. Yes. And oh, we'll see him again, yeah. Definitely. Yes. yes. It's, it's, it's from Cardinal Belong. Lekker <laughs> of you. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, mate. Hey, that's and then, party, obviously, let's get into the, the results, man. Can mm. talk about no, the man. games the you weekend? Sure? You yes, get yes, yes. The Rakers want to know what we yeah. got to say about mm. the games. Okay? Yeah. We begin with the Challenge Cup. Start at the Challenge, challenge Cup. Cup. Okay, let's start with the Challenge Cup quickly. Yeah. Okay, cool, perfect, guys. So, obviously, we only had one team that's still left, and the Sharkies has done it for us. But quickly started that first game. It was Claremont versus Cheetahs, 27-22. Oof. And then after, Benetton versus Lions, 27-17. And then the Sharkies did as well on Sunday, which is Sharks versus Zebra, 47-3. Paxla. Just, Sorry. Are you going to call it Paxla? Paxla. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, there's a pack slack. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, just overview on all those games, starting with the Cheetahs real quick. Um, um, yes, yeah, so. see, the Cheetahs deserves better than, I think, they, they, the quality franchise. Quality they deserve outfit, yeah. and to, it was to compete in a competition. Mm. That's the reality. Yeah. They came this close at this beating a fantastic close, yeah. team. So Yeah, 27-3 behind and fighting back like they did was incredible to see. I just, you you um, just got to love the Cheetahs. Yeah, that's yeah, it's just very, very unlucky. And at Benetton Lions... Also, eh? We so started well. It started well, but I wasn't happy the fact that the Lions played a B team, and mm-hmm. I thought that they, if they played the full strength side in that game, they had a fantastic opportunity of going through. Yeah. But that's my take. San Elise did say there's a lot of away games. 
Ja. Hulle wil by die huis ook wees. Maar <laughs> stier hulle ander manne. <laughs> but yeah, it was good to see. Yeah. I mean, they had chances as well. Oh. I knew that's a, a good team. Malakai Fekitua and Jacob Umang and all the boys. But Benetton got a red card. There was opportunities, but unlucky for the boys. I mean, then there's one team that's, that's staying. Hmm? They got a good chance. The Sharks about. has got a good chance of winning this competition hmm. and erasing. Is it a different Sharks team or what? I think so. I, a break can do you wonders, boy. A wonders? Something has changed. And looking at a couple of changes, like Vincent Kochbeck, Sia. Sia Masuku. I told you. You he, told me. I said difference. I did that listen. He's making I'm, a difference. Yeah, I'm watching now. He's making I, a he, difference. A big difference. Mm-hmm. Um, and one person can make a ma- massive difference. Big. So it's good to see how the Sharks are moving forward. Hopefully they can, uh, we'll see who they're going to play later on. Uh, yes. I think it's Edinburgh. But yeah, hopefully they can kick forward. Come on, Sharks. Mm. We believe. Yeah. We believe. Yeah, let's okay. believe. Come on. And then obviously, Investic yeah. Champions Cup. The big dogs. Uh, uh, I think let's get to the theme song. Let's take okay. a moment. Partner. Mm. Quickly. I think this is done. Let, let's let's move on. Uh, we don't want to talk about we the We have champions. to talk about it. It's a, it, it's the best of the best against the best. Mm? Okay? Can, can't you move on me? No, no. We, let's go the through the blew. games. It was really important the wind, games. The wind blew everything away. No, yeah, the wind didn't this blow anything away. <laughs> But okay, let's start with the Investic Champions Cup, yes. obviously. And you boys were up first, okay? At 130 at altitude. Yes. Uh, against Leon. Uh, no, 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 okay, no, 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 So that it was Bulls versus Leon, 59-19. Wow. Pak Sla, what did you say about Sarge? Pak Sla. Pak Sla. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah, quick looking at that game. Ooh, um, incredible start, eh? <laughs> Look, I think the Bulls did exactly what they wanted to do. Mm. They played really good rugby. It doesn't matter what team the Leon put out against them. Obviously, it wasn't full strength Leon yeah, yeah, side, yeah. which was quite disappointing for this um, this competition. This competition deserves the best against the best, which was quite disappointing for me. Um, but I mean, as a Bulls team, you can't control what the other side select. Yeah, The Bulls did the job. They did the job very well done. Very well, yeah. Mm. Very well, Manier. Um, we scored fantastic tries. Yeah, nine, we, we, nine we, tries. We, eh? we put them away convincingly. And I'm extremely happy in the context of our season and where we're at wanting to win trophies. Ideal game at the ideal time with the ideal scoreline. Bella, one of van die. One of van die. My partners, one of before the cough. Okay. That's it. We can move on. Was I say something? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Bulls was incredible. I must say, like you said, now nine tri- tries to three tries. I was expecting more of, of Leon. Obviously, they got big names as well. Takir Abrams is playing for them. They got Perry Jackson is playing for Ireland the International as well. And even Ioni that's playing for, for, yes, for, for Italy, Italy on the wing as well. But you didn't see anything. They didn't knock any uh, any shots onto the Bulls. But I must give credit to, to you know, Valila Roo starting well, you know, with his long passes. He's the Mr. Sist King, eh? Yes. You know, like no mess in the team. He was doing a fantastic job. Um, obviously, they got a couple of changes inside at front. The, the pack as well. They've got, say, um, was it JF? The young young blood, 19 years old, mm. coming in for Ruan Orkio. The skips, playing 80 minutes. Kudos to that young back. I don't know what the youngsters are eating nowadays. Yeah. Eh? They're full-grown men. Yeah, full-grown men. So that was awesome to see. And then someone just made it clear. He made it klaar, Loftus. <laughs> huh? Kurt Lee Arendsen, alles was klaar. Het klaar gevier, het alles klaar gemaakt. But yeah, man of the match performance fantastic. is incredible. Good to see in fantastic form, especially for July at Loftus. The form is nice at Loftus. Against, it's, it's scary to think against, that he can get better. Mm. Huh? How scary is that? Yeah. He won a World Cup, but it looks like he's, he's still getting even better. He's getting better than what he was. Yeah, better better than what he was. Oh, it's excited I, I, to I see. I love to see that, yeah. Kanan is also playing some good games. Obviously, he's got a yellow card. We don't see the young man get a yellow That's card. That's fine. He's, he's, yeah, he's still got lots to learn. Lots to learn. Lots yeah, of mistakes. Makes the mistakes. To make his mm. young, leave him alone. Uh, let's go, Yeah, Kanan let the boys play. And yeah, awesome to see. But Leon, it looks like the altitude did get to them. Because looking at the last 20 minutes, 30 minutes as well, there was space everywhere. I mean, Bulls had a yellow card, but it looked like they were playing with 10 men. There's space everywhere. Uh, Papier and the boys, they're doing what they want to do. Uh, Sebastian McClark. But yeah, um, expected more of Leon. But congratulations, eh? Yeah, the thank Bulls is- uh- Massive congratulations to mm. the franchise Bulls. Obviously, yep. uh, first team to qualify for quarterfinals, South African team. Mm. Um, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. 
Let's get to the test myth, though. There was a there was some. <laughs> the uh, it, I felt like it was a test myth, honestly. It, yeah, there was. It was the players on the field part. Now the storms. Mm. You're gonna re- obviously read the the scoreline now, but oh my yeah. goodness, gracious me! Let's go to that game on Saturday at four o'clock. It's Stormers versus La Rochelle, twenty-one twenty-two. The rematch in the score yes, almost yeah. said rematch. Mm. And yeah, we spoke about it now. The windy city. Did they play it in PE? Because it was very windy. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Yeah, it was a tough match, especially for, for us as well. But uh, that first half, we came out of the blocks. We got a half-time score of 16-0. Uh, Rakas, I sent him a voice note 20 minutes into the game. Yeah, and I was he... like, the Stormers are probably the best starting team in the world. There's something you guys mm. do. I don't know. Dobbo speech before games must be from such a nature that it gets you. Because you guys honestly start the game perfectly. Yeah. We, we, we had a pretty good start, I must say. And it's, it's, it, there's, there happened, a lot of things happened. I mean, playing an international pack like that, a heavy pack, Wolf Skelton, Portillas, um, Antonio, just, just, Huh? It's not a It's a physical pack. I must say, the, our scrums was incredible. Our scrums, they broke out, they, they experienced. Best, to, Netling for she is also. Best scrum in Europe. Definitely. Yeah. I, I don't want to say the world because I, I, I don't know how you compare scrums. Yeah, yeah. No, but no. in Europe, best scrum. Yeah, so especially much. against a French international. The 100%. guy that played against the box in the quarterfinal um, was fantastic to see. Um, but yeah, we dominated. We, I mean, the first 20 minutes, we had 70, 80% of possession in territory. We got in behind them. Yes, then Dion Furi, senior player. Injured. Injured. Then Achiva, injured. Salman, injured. injured. Zas, injured. BJ, injured. Oof. Quickly, quickly a question, just on the first mm. half, before we move on to the whole game. Um, obviously, now speaking to, to, to Roops about the, the wind in the stadium. Yeah. Do you think you guys should have scored a bit more points in that first half? Or was the second half of La Rochelle not the wind? Was it just um, lack of discipline on the Stormers' behalf? Yeah, I, I think the, table, the tables just turned a little bit on, uh, on us. I mean, 16-0 up front. We should seal the game. We shouldn't... I mean, La Rochelle was also coming out to play a little bit. And we had lots of opportunities to seal them at, at some stages. And you expect a guy, a, a team like La Rochelle actually slowing it down. They've got big forwards, you know. They wanted to they, they, pick up the pace. Yeah, up, they eh? want to pick up the pace. But yeah, when when we had, uh, you know, Salman going off that crucial moment, then it's a penalty, penalty in behind us. In our 22, Marcel Tienesen getting here, look at, gets sent off. They scoring a try. You could see when, when um, Aldred scored that try, the tails were up and the guys were excited. They came here to win. They're back-to-back champions. They're defending champions. And they're not going to be like, oh, it's 30 minutes to go. Let's see what happens. They're going to force it. And actually, the longer the game went on, partner, mm. the guy who actually stood out for me was Will Skelton. Mm. The longer the game yeah. went on in the second half, it became more evident that he, he attracted more defenders to yeah. tackle him. And obviously, that, that pick-and-drive one that they score, where yeah. it yeah, looked yeah, like yeah. he was going to pick-and-go, but then he popped, but there was three Stormers players dialed Coming, in on mm, him mm. and that created a one-on-one for that prop. Yeah. So he was, and especially the fact that he was injured before this game, out mm. for eight weeks, yeah. come in and play in that manner for a guy who weighs yeah. 148. 148, yeah. 148, yeah. yeah. Obviously, there has to be three guys. Impressive. Lose. When he's got the ball, you got to zoom on him. Impressive, <laughs> it's a big impressive. Lad. But kudos to him, especially that moment with Salman Murad. Yeah. Well, Skelton, if in Cape Town, I'll buy you a beer. Because that is just, the, just to see the culture and trans, trans, um, feel within the rugby. Yeah, that, the, that, that is what makes rugby great, buddy. Yeah. Huh? yeah that is what a, makes a our game great. The, that's why it's welcome in Cape Town. All at, the time. At behind the rock, actually. Hey, come to behind come the rock. Come to rock. behind the rock. Yeah, give you alles. Lekker. Come on, boy. Yeah, and then... Incredible. Um, shout out to the boys. You know, unlucky didn't get through. Um, play, getting to maybe get to that game and... and you know, the next game should have been Leinster. Um, La Rochelle's playing Leinster now. But yeah, incredible. And there's a lot of standout players. I mean, um, um, Russell Yankees is obviously trying to step up. Uh, he's playing incredible rugby. Yeah. Partner, uh, f- and, and, and obviously it's a few weeks or maybe last year that I spoke mm-hmm. about the fact that Dobu must give him a go. Mm-hmm. A f- start him a you few said, games yeah, yeah, in a row. Start him a few under games the belt, in a row. You need- and he was excellent, excellent Saturday. Yeah, and he had I, two I kicks to um, the bump and runs into the corner, mm. which was brilliant. Technical. His passing in the wind was excellent. Support I honestly play. thought he was absolutely, absolutely mm. fantastic this yeah, weekend. I agree, he was absolutely fantastic. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> Yeah, I totally agree with you, um, especially with the support players while scoring the try oh, under, but, the, but under... But that, that is his, yeah, his, that is his, 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 his bread and butter. 
Hij is warm in dit. Ja, ja, ja. En ja, en in, in de combination of, you know, Manny Lebok en waar ik geland, mm, isn't that like... Hij oud en nieuw apart, hij is top. Ja, um, the magic man, so they're doing a fantastic job, but uh, it was just, mm, there was moments, I mean, the Damien Willemsen moment, you know, there's opportunities there, he's playing fantastic rugby, Suleiman Hatzenberg is actually, five minutes to go, just to give, the Suleim, pleasure to give it. Suleiman is standing on, on a ladder, and he's waving. He's waving. Rasi, I'm ready. Rasi, I'm here, I'm, I'm ready. Here, yeah. Select me, I'm ready. Scoring a hat trick the week before, and then the week after, he shows, listen here, okay, creating one or two, just all floats. Dan Doop giving him one, two, ah. and then he's, uh, yeah, one, two, give it ah. to Damien Willems. Uh, was fantastic to see. Unlucky at stages where, I mean, the knock on with Damien scoring in the corner, that's maybe rugby. the inside ball to, to maybe uh, Paul De Vett as well. Oh, uh, that's but that's on. rugby. That's rugby, yeah, That's rugby at the end of the day. I mean, if you look at the past game, especially Stormers with La Rochelle at home, the bounce of the ball went our way, and this is one of those things that the bounce of the ball didn't And the Stormers it. played probably one of the best sides in Europe, yeah. La Rochelle. Mm. Um, and they they weren't just going to hand the game to the mm, Stormers, yeah. unfortunately. But it was a brilliant game for the ice. Yeah. I absolutely Happy enjoyed days, yeah. every moment of that. So, yeah, we got a week off. So, all the injured boys, Dune Furi Achiva. Hope the lights is getting Mooney. back. Mooney, the lights is going back. Leolan Zas and all you boys to recover well. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Um, but yeah, it was incredible, incredible uh, rugby at DHL Stadium. Absolutely. Mm. And a partner, we're going to next, we're going to speak to the people. Ah, Alice, you're with me. Oh yeah, I see you. I see you in the corner there. Uh. But yeah, you're going to now. Okay. Where you see it, leave those Bulls jerseys. Okay. Okay. We'll see you. Okay. Protocol, get in action. Eh? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get to them. Let's okay. Go. Up next, Kruger okay. International. Here we go. Um, pa- hey. Ooh, yes. There we are. Yeah. Let's start for his family. Yes. We've got his family in the house. Family is nice. So we yes, 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 yes. Um, oh. Sorry, Dad. Hey. Um, mm. Mia, Bula, welcome, first of all. Thank you. Are you guys good? Yes. Welcome, guys. Great yeah. to be here. Mm. It is my pleasure to get you guys out of the office, okay? Yeah. Partner? So that we get a contour at the crate. Contour it, yeah. Sometimes we go visit them. Huh? Then we get out there and we get a little bit of a... Uh, but we, yeah. it's exciting times to get back. I'm going to get a little Guys, welcome, obviously. Um, before we get our chat going about what, uh, yeah. obviously, where everything fits in, um, Mia... Do you mind explaining to the Ruckers? I know when they watch the show for yeah. the past month or more than a month, Kruger International logo has been in their faces. We've mentioned it every episode that this yeah. is our new sponsor, our new family. Mm. What Love. is Kruger International and what do they do? Yes, well, firstly, I'll normally ask that to you as a happy client. <laughs> but um, yes, we are a group of professional investors and wealth managers. And we first and foremost manage our own investments. And we do the exact same for our clients. So we partner with our clients by starting off normally to yeah. do a comprehensive analysis to, to understand where you are financially at the moment, where you're starting from. And then we work on an, a plan to get you to your investment goals. So it's a, it's a long-term journey, an investment and a financial journey. And uh, yeah, it's a partnership. So there's responsibilities on both sides, as yeah. you know. Yeah, and partnership. We like partnership. Okay. Right? We love partnership. <laughs> and, and I'm assuming it's not like playing Lotto Bula. I see... <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm willing yes, 70 million. You gotta be patient, eh? Let the tree grow. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so um, exciting times. So obviously, you guys started um, Krug International in, in what year? And yeah. you got vast experience. Uh, a lot of, especially your dad, um, Nain yeah. Krug has been, um, I think he's got 33 years of experience. Um, yeah, how, long been, you, how long has with Jenny been? He's been in the game for quite a long mm. time. The company is now 24 years old. So it's, a, as I say, a long-term, a long-term journey. Before that, I mean, many of the clients with Kruger International has actually been clients of, of Vine from before Kruger International yeah. existed. So they've been clients for many, many years. And that's the sort of the key to investments is time. And if you've got time on your side, yeah. then you, you'll be an happy investor at the end of the day. Yeah. And Bula, first of all, I want to ask you, why behind the rack? Eh? Hey. Obviously, you're an ex-rugby spiel, uh, player as well. Sitting uh, proudly in his Grenoble. I love it. I love yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> why behind the rack? Eh? Is it the two funny guys? Or, or, hey. or is it just the journey and, and, and the positiveness you see when it comes to rugby players? Yeah. So, yeah, I want to make a difference. And always investments are always my passion and interest. And um, I always had the discipline to save, not to, to spend too much and save money uh, on a monthly basis. Um, and luckily had good mentors uh, playing a good role mm. and a positive role in my, in my um, 
investment career. So, so, and I'm back in 2015, I met Mia in France and we had a good chat and, and um, after, and we had a chat about investment, yeah. uh, life after rugby. And then when, when the day came, when I stopped my career, she said, listen, come join, come join Kruger International and make a difference in, in guys' life. And I make, made it a life goal uh, for myself to help other players and, and also help them become financially independent. Mm. Okay. But the stuff, especially the rugby players, eh, the, the checks go quickly. Eh? Hey. Mm. You go 5,000 to 40, to 25, to 30. Hey, easy. <laughs> and then. <laughs> yeah. so, so, Bula, obviously, mm. I think, um, so So you guys obviously made the decision to, yeah. to, to become our main sponsor and, and back, obviously, the two of us will be believe solely in our, in our yeah. dream and in our soul. Um, like Yellow behind the rock, first of all. Let me ask you that question. You gotta start yeah. there, the relationship starts there. Yellow behind was like, like Alcashar. Okay, so no, that's obviously that's a rhetorical question mm. if you're the main sponsor of this. So um, then the next one, Bula, is, is probably towards you. Um, rugby players, we, we don't have such a long um, career as mm. a normal guy that maybe that is an accountant or someone who is working yeah. in what other job. Um, why is investing your money, especially for rugby players, so important looking at the time frame that we can save mm. and that we earn a, a certain salary compared to other people? Yeah, so, so because you've got a very, very short career, it's so important to invest and, and have the discipline to save money. And that's where we come, come in and play a role, that we, we take your hand... And, and go the journey with you and teach you how to make good investments and change your life. You can change your life in 10, 12 years uh, that you will be very happy when you, when you look back one day. So, yeah, if I can maybe add to what he said is that the fact is, you know, there's very, very few people at such a young age as a rugby player or professional sports star who yeah. earns the salaries that professional yeah. rugby players do. And it's so important to use that mm. opportunity to set yourself up and to make yourself financially independent. And it's so possible. You don't have to be a springbok or the best rugby player. Yeah. But if you are, you've got just such a, such a larger opportunity to, so much larger opportunity to do that. That short time frame, if you make a point of it to live within your means and to save money and start sp um, saving that money towards your long-term goals you'll be financially independent by the time you've done, you're done with yeah. rugby. Then you don't have the pressure to, to, you know, um, to find a second career that would be your main driver for when you're old and can't work one day. But, you are know, saving from an yeah. early age. Time That's is the one secret of investments. So if you've got time yeah. on your side, then you'll be a happy investor. Yeah. And when it comes to Kruger International, how do, you guys, how do we make contact with you guys, especially for our young followers, our young yeah. ruckus as mm -hmm. well? Um, obviously, you got six branches all around South Africa, a couple in the north, a couple in the south. Um, how do we get contact with you? We know where to find you guys, yeah. but for all our rackers out there, how do you get <laughs> contact? Yeah, so I mean, there's the, we've got the, the, the squeeze back that, that the rackers yes, know yes, from yes, the yes. show. Mm -hmm. They can always take a picture there of the uh, QR code, which sends them directly to Bula's contact details. Phone him any time of the day mm. or the night. He's always available. 24 7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they can always go on our website at krugerinternational.co.za and send us a message there. We reply to those messages on a daily basis and then we, we take the journey from there. Yeah. And then, Mia, obviously, quickly, um, let's say we had a, a very young guy on JC Mars last yes. week, which was phenomenal. Um, He's got such good manners. Yes, <laughs> fantastic young man. <laughs> Especially when I was younger partner, um, I didn't have this advice. Mm, so yeah. I went to go buy an Audi A4. Hey. I went to go oh, buy a Golf ag R. Aggressive? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, um, <laughs> not too clever, but I actually want to, especially the young guys out mm. there, Mia, um, is it better for them to start early? Let's say you're playing SC under 20. and Because I want to tell the parents that may be watching this show, yeah. or if there's two, three young kids out there, that they don't make the same mistake yeah. as, as I do. Yeah. Is it better for them to start early with smart financial decisions? Absolutely. I mean, the earlier you start, the better off you are. So I, I can give so many examples, but it's also never too late. So that's the other important part to remember. Because we often see people who are already retired or are very close to retirement and they in despair because they think, oh, it's too late, I never saved, um, I, there's no, no point in saving now. So it's never too late, that's the most important part. But the earlier you start, the better off you are. Yeah. No one can catch you if you start early. And someone who starts 10 years later will very, very seldomly catch up with you as an investor. 
if you've started early. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is right. super spot on, yeah. And like you said, the set now, JC Ma's got some good, good yeah, minutes. Yeah, he has. What's been your favorite episode, both Ooh. of you? Eh? Was it the Shia <laughs> Kulis? Yes, or I love that one. That was also a great one, yeah. yes. And I love the one with Scala Brits. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Scala for, He's got, so, yeah, because... You know what? He also has like very solid, solid yeah. sort of um, uh, guidelines of living life and not spending too much money. And I think he, he gave great financial advice, advice yes, as yes, well yes, on so. the show yeah. for, for rugby players. So Skull, Skull Brits, your favorite Brits, episode? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Mia. We had a chat in the car, and it's, it's actually it's an easy yeah. choice. Uh, it's you gotta up. stick together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is another episode with just the two of us. Huh? That's also fun. That's no, also it's fun. Just thinking, yeah. and that normally yeah. makes me laugh. And I want to start with you, Mia. For if you could have anyone on the show, mm. if you would have the perfect guest on behind the rack, who would that be? I'd love to see Trevor dance. Hey. Trevor, you come. <laughs> Trevor. Trevor. Hey. Yes. Okay. okay. You know. I think we can make that one work. Okay, And, and be what great. about Drikas to Plessis? Yes. Dr- Emma Dr- also. Uh, Drikas. <laughs> I'd love to see him on the show as well. Okay, so yes. as Trevor and your kind of partner and Drikas. Drikas. Yes. Wishlist. Okay. okay. Yes. Wishlist. Yes. Wishlist. Yeah, I would love to see John de Villiers. John de Villiers yeah. on the show. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I'm sure that's going to be like a nice, fun and funny show. I yeah. love that yeah. to us. We have to spend money to get them. First of all, I wish we, we had more time, yes, Bula, yeah. Yeah, that we can speak about the, the importance of finance and the importance, especially um, the two of us yeah. are with their partner and how they've managed our life and my current situation. Mm. Um, but luckily for us, you guys are with us for a very long time. Yes. Um, yes, yes. So we're going to have an opportunity again, Mia, Bula, to... To especially educate, inform yeah. and educate, mm, that's mm, the right word, mm, excellent. Hey, yes, <laughs> you know what Educate, mm. especially the rockers and the young boys out there, and even the older guys who mm. yes. maybe don't Never know um, mm. what the, the future and afterwards so we can help all of them. Thank you for your time. Thanks. And thank you for your support. Thank you for having us on the show. Yeah. And by it, thank you for your support. Yeah. It's a privilege Oswald to be on the finest show on on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate yes. that, yeah. <laughs> guys, that's Kruger International. Partner. Mm. Lekker to have our family in the house. Yes, yeah, the people that's looking after us, making us food in the house, give our blankets <laughs> to us, you know, putting the feeding lights us. on, feeding us. Um, it's fantastic. Yeah, and, to catch and, up. Mm. and just to, to obviously, um, Rakas, me and yeah. Juan, we are ambassadors of Kruger International. Mm. Okay, so any questions, anything that we can help you with, um, we want to educate, we want to yeah. help, especially rugby players, but also um, if you're an anyone, accountant, yeah. anyone, mm. anyone. Um, There's looking advice, yeah. We looking obviously, advice. I'm an extremely happy client at Kruger International, yeah, the same with my client, partner. Yeah. So um, come on board. Don't come hesitate. Come on board. Don't hesitate. Yeah, and make sure, okay, when the squeeze back gets in, scan the barcode and get your details. Okay, like we'll get the website. Yeah. Like Here we go. Okay. Um, but mm. Boiki, there is big rugby is this weekend. Is there more games coming? There is more no. rugby games. There's um, no, is there games this weekend? Yeah, but Boiki, come okay. on. Oh. Be supportable. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, it's time South to be. Africans, y- yes, let's support let's the Bulls. Yeah. Come on. Totally agree with you, okay? okay. We, we yeah, sharks, I like that energy. Sharks early Saturday. Okay. And then we all and the Bulls. bulls. Everyone is Bulls. Come okay. on. Okay. Yeah. Bala. Altitude matters. Let's get to the games. Okay, the first game is actually the Challenge Cup. Um, yes. Which is the Sharks versus Edinburgh. And that's Saturday at half past one. Okay, it's start a it rematch. So actually, about three weeks three ago, they, yeah, yeah, they, they yeah, played yeah. against each other. The mm. Sharks obviously got... The victory there. So, yeah, Edinburgh is coming back. They, they, they're not a bad team if not they the fire. Not a bad team. Not a bad team. If Skuman and all those boys start firing, you know, the one from the Mav and all those boys, but the Sharks are looking good. So, that's going to be like a clash, actually. I think that's a clean slate for the Sharks, the, 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 the Challenge Cup. Um, I'm going to back them all the way. I think, uh, I really believe they'll, they'll yeah, play quarterfinal well games. again. I hope Sia Masuko has another good game uh, and he cements that position. He, he, he's used every opportunity. He waited patiently yeah. and now he's used his opportunity. Uh, time to shine. Come spotlight, on, Masuko. Spotlight, showtime, baby. Yeah. And then also, then the big one. Aye. And that's nine o'clock at night in England. So why are they testing you with all these late night games? Yeah. Huh, Boiki? Oof. Uh, but we need to support, like we said. I will so we got to wake up. partner will be you in my jersey. You get your pre workout. You I'll get your be protein. In my jersey. In. Yes. Everything. I'll mm. be shouting bulls from the beginning till the end. I'm with you. I'll send um, you a voice note. It's yeah. obviously going to be groundbreaking yeah. stuff for the so bulls. It's, yeah, it's Northampton Saints versus the bulls. And that's Saturday at 9 o'clock. What an incredible game that will be. Um, yeah, incredible. Obviously, Coach Jakey has, 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 has had some complaints about yes. mm, the yes. flights and all of that. But hopefully, the boys will put that behind, behind them. us. Yes. Huh? Oh, it's no clear. Yes. It is what it is. Looking forward. It is what it is. They played when they played on Sunday. Yes. They played on Sunday. Less time to recover. So, yeah. 
Would and the think? nice thing is it's it's not in the UK winter. Mm. So from a ball handling point of view, it should be a bit warmer this time of the year in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of things that's playing into the Bulls' hands. Yeah. Um, the Bulls obviously used to traveling now. Um, the Bulls has got a brilliant squad depth at the 100%, moment. Yeah. So I don't know if Jake is going to rotate. I don't oh, know who's going to select. Yeah, who's, who's going to play? Um, obviously, the there's question. a couple of niggles as well um, because you got to look at the URC as well. Who's sending over? Is he going to send his A team, his B team? Um, what's going to happen? I mean, Loretum Saints is not too bad. They got a couple of good South Africans. Um, Augustus Trocki is playing Trocki. for them. Burger Urendal is playing Urendal for them. had a great game last weekend. Yeah, um, I was looking looking at that game. I don't want to say they were lucky to win it. They had good, say it. They had good individual it. tries that actually say it. got them in the front foot and got them the results. So the Bulls got a good chance. Even if it's a B team. You know the B team sometimes like, okay, no, I'm going to show you. And that takes a bit of pressure off you, eh? Yeah. Uh, weirdly enough, if, if, if you know the fact, hey, I don't have to win. I want to win. Difference. I don't, mm. Big difference. I want to win. So maybe I don't know. I don't know which yeah, which yeah, side yeah, Jake yeah, yeah. will select. We we'll only probably get that on Friday. I think um, he's gonna he's gonna send his B team in uh, the B team in my point of view. Just because if you look at the URC, they've got tough five games coming up. We've got a up. hell of a tough five also, games. And if you do make the semi final, uh, it's Leinster too. And if you do make the final, it's to lose. Too. So a lot of planning that needs to go up in, in Pretoria, but we behind the boys. Oh, okay? we are, definitely. Uh, 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 Bulls, altitude matters. Come on, boys. Loftus Fairfield, fair that? Fall us and rough us. Rough us. Let's go. And rough it is, yeah. Um, but while we're on there, let's get to our Lula bit predictions. Say you say with your chest is the time. Pick. Uh, 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 make your pick. And say your pick. And make your pick. And say your pick. Let's start with the Challenge Cup. Okay. Talk to me. And we're talking Sharks versus Edinburgh at half past one. I'm going to be very confident, yeah. partner. Uh, my pick this weekend will be the Sharks, as I just yes. mentioned previously. Green and gold. I will go. be Sharks by... 13, 14 plus. Um, I'm going to go big score again. Mm, mm. Um, I think the Sox has got some momentum. They're like a steamroller and they're going to steam all over yes. Edinburgh. Like I said, it's green and gold this weekend. Let's so I'm backing go. the Sharks as well. Okay, I want yours to come out this weekend. Okay. Hello, more baby Sharks. Say to the chest. Yes, and I say Sharks with six. Wow. Okay. I, uh, Edinburgh is not is not zebra, so Sharks with six. Okay. 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 So okay. that's going to be like a game to watch, especially building up to the late night one. Um... And yeah, and talking about the late tonight one, it's um, obviously the Northampton Saints against the Bulls. Bulls are going away at nine o'clock Saturday. Look, look partner, um, I'm I'm obviously backing the Bulls hundred mm. percent. Um, the history of the of the of the of European will play in favor of Nove- of mm. Northampton. Mm. That will be a big sold out crowd down there. Um, but I'm gonna go Bulls by five. I just have a feeling that this is the Bulls season. I have a feeling in my gut. And I'm gonna back my gut feeling, and I'm gonna go Bulls by five. Bulls by five. Uh, come. Come on, my country. Yeah. Believe, shit, green, and gold. Let's Support go. Support our boys. Okay. Okay. Make your good times, bad times. So I'm also going to go Bulls. Okay. Can you believe it? I okay. Not actually, but yeah. Blues. Bulls uh, by eight. Bulls by eight, bro. Bulls by eight. I top you. Yes. I show you what confidence I is. Like okay. it. <laughs> so Let's Bulls go. by eight. I think, um, obviously, Northampton Saints are a good team. Um, but the, the Bulls are flying high and even if they send a B team I, I also think that those guys will go out there and see like okay I asked for opportunity my opportunity is here and I'm going to show you okay definitely if, man, yeah. Um, yeah. and Jake will have enough plans in order yeah man is slim the coach is slim 100% yeah, yeah. and that's a little bit predictions okay hey, your partner 39 is it show time is it no time is it bye bye time it's mm. bye bye time, Wiki. Yeah, so um, um, obviously a fun-filled episode yeah. with a lot of information, a lot of rugby. We had groups on. We yeah. had Mia and Bulao on the yeah, episode. Our people, our family. Yeah, we yeah. educated. We, we L- educated, but about finance. Finance, yeah. Which is something we we need to talk about, buddy. Yeah, and they can slide in our DMs to get the information. You remember, C I actually spoke about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he, he said how important it is, especially for rugby players. Mm. To, uh, Look can, after you, Waleiki. Take any beers. Waleiki. Zip so, um, okay. <laughs> let's do our part and educate yeah, our youngsters yeah. and all the players. Yeah. Munich has all the IVs and, and golf ask groups. Yeah, yeah. You got to learn, eh? Hey? And hey. when we talk about the family, let's talk about the family properly, man. Market. You know, Behind the Rock is powered by Krug International Asset and Wealth Management. Like we said, guys, go check out their website, um, krugerinternational.co.za. And scan the barcode. Well, the, you don't know, the squeeze backy, scan the, bar, uh, scan the barcode nice. and making sure you get all the information. And also, hey, behind the rack is also brought to you by the one and only official betting partner, Lula Bet. 
hey, look yeah. about that sports, that CEO, that Z, hey, look and after them. Party, Ooh. obviously, Ruckus, um, we're back in studio. we in the IOK studios. Okay, guys, um, mm. we, it looks beautiful, huh? Uh, this like is home. Always, yeah. This it's is home. home. It looks fantastic. Um, for all inquiries, go to now. Okay, starts here. Okay, That's starts on Instagram. Here. Mm. Okay, starts here. Go follow them. Um, click DM. Whatever you guys want to do, but this is the studios, obviously, where we shoot. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they man, look yeah. after the. <laughs> it's an online mental health, health platform. Mm. Okay. You gotta check if everyone is okay. Yeah, they forget I'm, no, I'm checking about your Amy, but you always like, you know, accept it, absorb it. Is the Amy okay? Um, yeah, but we're gonna <laughs> next week. I've got some. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's fantastic, guys. Fantastic episode. Yeah. And also, obviously, um, our. Viewers, our rakas, okay, our Muslim rakas, you know, it Mubarak, hey. it's been an awesome, you know, I know it's been a challenging time for you guys, but we appreciate your support and hope you guys enjoyed it, okay? Enjoy it. Bring your baki kos. Everyone, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll accept the baki kos and also on Sunday, bring cook sisters or some. Uh, yeah, please, Kanala. Please, sort us out. We'll appreciate that, guys. And all the best. It Mubarak to you, all you. Okay? Hey, mm. and that's it. Chicken it's rapi. a chicken rapi, okay. man. And they must know to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Mr. Ref, a Roy card. If, if they don't listen, Roy. A, a red card. Yes. But I'm pretty sure they will. <laughs> yes, man. Yeah. Yes, let's crack on. Hi, guys. I'm Juan de Jong. I'm Rudy Pates. And the rack is clear. Bye-bye. Cheers.